In yesterday I released one of the video how to make object transparent in Unity 3D with C Sharp script and write this basic script uh, without any uh, complexity because the video was uh, for the beginners but uh, some of our fellow um, colleagues are comment that it has some serious um, performance issue uh, like I want to mention here is we are using update and it's uh, getting get component using get component uh, and rendering render uh, components is uh, getting you know on every frame so uh, it's uh, uh, doing memory allocation on every frame which is not a good practice and we should always avoid it and use uh, on a start get the reference of this render cache the component the cache the variable and then use it uh, on update or any event so in this uh, video i'm going to show you an improved version of how to make object transparent in unity uh, and we will use an improved version uh, and uh, <coughs> we will use uh, ui event like slider or ui event slider event uh, to make object transparency so stay with me uh, we will we will do it in this video after receiving some positive comments i have improved the version of this script already in my previous video and you can see the gist link and here i have used uh, improved version <coughs> So I have cached this render component in this uh, sorry material component material component into material variable. So this is called caching. We are using an improved version slightly, but it's still it's using update. So in this video we will use UI event and uh, all, almost use the same script, and we will use UI slider event to change the transparency of a cube. So let's make first uh, uh, UI slider uh, and uh, make sure its mean value 0 to 1. The transparency level should be 0 to 1. And then we just go to our cube, make transparent, yes, and uh, make a public color. White change alpha on value change and the next thing we should call it from here kind match and the alpha value so first make ui uh, namespace the next thing slider slider and the slider dot value should go up here so we will attach this public uh, function to our slider uh, it will also provide a slider input and we will use its, va its value to change alpha the second thing we will do it will just comment out this so it will not it will not use update and we will using event based approach to change the uh, alpha of uh, uh, the cube <coughs> let's minimize it and just drag and drop first assign on value change here and then drag this cube here go to mac transparent and change alpha on value change so it's required slider input so just drag and drop this to here the other console and let's play it to see what's happened so it's working so zero means one means no transparency it's going to one and the less means zero transparency 
hope that it's it's one of the improved version we have removed the update we are using cache component here caching the material and using an event to change uh, the alpha value thanks